I'm Pierce Handling, Director and CEO of TIFF. I have curated this program, it's called The Great War on Film. I spent the last probably five years actually assembling the program. I basically wanted to do three things with this program. I wanted to show the best films that have been made about the First World War, some of the films in the interwar period as well as some of the more contemporary films. I wanted it to also reflect the experiences of the different um, nations that were at war. So you see films from France, Germany, the UK, Austria, Italy, Canada, Australia. I wanted to give it a sort of the global sense of the struggle. And I also wanted to make it as experiential as possible. It's obviously the 100th anniversary of the end of the war, of the armistice in November 1918. So it's a moment for all of us, I think, to collectively look back and say, what happened? It happened again, obviously, with the Second World War. There's conflicts going on all the time. But what drove people to this madness? One of the reasons to come and see this series is it's very difficult to see these films on a regular basis. And I think that because they're war films, even though some of them are quite primitive, the ones that were made in the interwar period in the 20s and 30s, to see them on the big screen, with the kind of sound effects they were using at that time, gives you a sense of the epic scale of the war and how the filmmakers dealt with that. I think it is a series that actually has to be seen on the big screen. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of them that I've only seen on Blu-ray or DVD on my television set. There's a couple of really important films in this program. Stanley Kubrick's Paz of Glory, which is a very, very famous film. A Joseph Losey film, King and Country. It's one of my favorite films made in the First World War. I think it's really extraordinary. But there's some rarities that were actually made between the war. One film that I'd never seen before, an Austrian film, directed by somebody who actually fought, a young lieutenant who fought in the war, Louis Trenker, a film called Mountains on Fire, which is really extraordinary because it's all about the warfare in the mountains and ski troops, and there's incredible skiing sequences. And there's a lot of the other classic films of this era. Wooden Crosses, a French film, also very rare to see on the big screen. West Front, a film by uh, G.W. Pabst, and All Quiet in the Western Front, the Lewis Milestone film. These are really classics about the First World War, films that, again, I think are just very difficult to see on the big screen, so I would urge people to go out and see those. So there's a couple of unique things. There is a restored print that we're showing of uh, Grand Illusion, uh, like Grand Illusion, the great Jean Renoir film with somebody who's going to come and talk about the whole experience of prisoners of war, which is uh, also an interesting way to look at the war. And then the other special screening we'll have is a screening of Wings, the William Wellman film, which won the very first Oscar for Best Picture. And of course, it's a silent film. And we'll have a pianist to accompany the, uh, the film, William O'Meara. The Great War in Film runs from November 10th to December 9th at Tip Bell Lightbox. Mm -hmm.